The Simonov self-loading carbine, known as the SKS, is an individual weapon. The carbine is semi-automatic only, has a short stroke gas piston with a tilting bolt action, fires a 7.62 by 39 mm cartridge, and is fed by a fixed 10 round magazine. The maximum effective range of the carbine is 400 meters. Aim fire can be conducted at up to 1,000 meters. The battle sight range is 365 meters. Concentrated fire from multiple carbines can be conducted at ranges up to 800 meters. The combat rate of fire is 35 to 40 rounds per minute. The carbine is 40.2 inches with the bayonet folded and 49.6 inches with the bayonet in the combat position. The weight of the carbine with a loaded 10 round magazine is 8.6 pounds. The barrel is 20 inches long with four clockwise grooves. The carbine consists of the following basic components and mechanisms. Barrel with receiver, sights and bayonet, receiver cover, bolt assembly, recoil mechanism, gas cylinder tube and handguard, gas piston, driving rod and spring, trigger mechanism, magazine, and stock. The front sight is a post screwed into a cross piece and is protected by a hood. The cross piece is fastened to the upper barrel stanchion and they are both scribed to determine correct positioning of the front sight. The front sight is field adjustable for elevation with the combination tool stored in the buttstock well. This is covered in a separate training film. The rear sight has a blade with U-notch for aiming and is marked from 1 to 10 for hundreds of meters. This symbol indicates a constant sight setting that corresponds to 300 meters and is the battle sight setting. There is no field adjustment for windage. For setting the sight, press the catches of the slider with the thumb and index finger and move the slider until the front edge aligns with the mark under the corresponding number on the sight leaf. The slider all the way to the rear is the battle sight setting. Contained in front of the stock below the barrel is a cleaning rod which is used for cleaning and maintenance of the rifle. The bayonet consists of the blade with hilt and sleeve with spring. Early carbines had a cruciform bayonet. The bayonet is attached by a pin through its hilt to the lower stanchion of the barrel. The sleeve with spring serves to secure the bayonet in the combat and stowed positions. It fits over the bayonet hilt and has, on the forward position, a ring for securing the bayonet to the muzzle portion of the barrel in the combat position, and on the rear portion a rounded lug with notches. The rounded lug helps to hold the cleaning rod against the barrel, and the notches secure the bayonet to the lower stanchion of the barrel in the stowed and combat positions. The sleeve with spring of the bayonet secures the bayonet and absorbs shock during firing. Absorbing the shock of the bayonet ensures that the weapon zero remains constant whether the bayonet is deployed or stowed. On the right of the trigger guard is the safety. It is a flip type and prevents rearward movement of the trigger when it is in the raised position and ensures locking of the trigger housing latch when it is in the lowered position. Rear of the magazine is the magazine catch which holds the magazine cover. It is released by pulling rearward. On the right side of the receiver is the receiver cover pin which secures the receiver cover to the receiver. When the magazine is empty, the follower with its lug lifts the bolt catch upward and the bolt can no longer move forward. This is a signal for subsequent reloading of the carbine. On the front of the bolt carrier is a slot for stripper clips. The butt of the stock has a well for accessories. Inside the well is a spring that pushes the combination tool with accessories outward. Use of the combination tool and accessories is covered in a separate training film. 
Secured to the butt is a sling swivel for attaching the sling. The second attachment point for the sling is the loop on the left of the gas chamber. Installation of the sling is covered in a separate training film. The next video in the series will cover field stripping the SKS. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, you can become a member on Patreon or YouTube or a subscriber on Player. Links to these are in the description below. For more information on this farm and others, head on over to historyandfarms.com.